That's that Jane River. Woo! <laughs> Got it. All right, let's wave. Let's wave. Ah. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Lakeland Outdoors. Overhead doors. Lakeland's, Lakeland's Overhead Doors. People all over the world have heard of the James River. It's not an unrealistic expectation to catch a trophy catfish here. People come from all over the country to fish this river. Got the real estate lock on there. All them houses I'm doing for Julie Holman now have them on them. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, this is nice. <laughs> this is nice, man. Yes, this is awesome. We're backing in at Jordan like Point. Five big cat fevers, three tomcats. Cat in paradise. Scott done a deep dive online. He, he, he found a couple spots to maybe catch some bait. We got the bait that I caught last night that ended up dying on us, so I put it on ice. So we have that. Talked to Trey Thorpe. He told us some places that would be good. We're gonna try to fish near some deep water. But we're gonna hit pay dirt. I can guarantee we're gonna hit pay dirt. This is probably the funnest trip I've ever been on. I can't believe that we're actually doing this. I can't believe that, that these guys are actually going catfishing. We're going after Arkansas Blue, giant Arkansas Blue Catfish. This is the destination. We're here making it happen. We got everything in order. We've done everything we possibly could do to prep for this trip. We got the freshest bait we could possibly get. Everything's ready. We got everything rigged up. I hope that we catch one so big that like Wes can't even hold it. We just gotta go like right out here. We're just gonna go here and buoy hop. That's all you gotta do to catch fish out here. Just go buoy hop. Where's the channel buoys? On the channel. That's why buoy hopping works. Dang, dang. Damn, got old hairy nipples. Got a black widow on it. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Damn. Don't fuck with that guy. You don't fuck with me. Only been able to see mine. There's no way. Guys, this is a PG-13 video. That's pretty cool. Tell him, Wes. If this is PG-13, you better change the rating on this motherfucker. <laughs> I saw a ball of bait, Scott, right in front of the boat. God, go throw some net on that ball of bait so we don't have to hear that shit. Where's that? I'll throw the motherfucker. I'm just letting you know there was just a, get us back I here could actually bait. see yeah. the bait, not just, just a flip. He busted a nut because he's seen a shadow in the water. No, I saw bait flip and then bait under it. Okay, Mr. Long, get a pinpoint out. I'm looking for You think we're going to catch some bait, James? I'm looking for flips. I don't see nothing. We just went up into those, those lilies to see if we could see some bait flipping. We, we were seeing a lot of singles, but we didn't see any bait grouped up, so we didn't, no luck there trying to catch any bait. So now we're just actually going to go fish till it gets dark. I have not fucked real quick. Okay, so we're in the main channel. We're actually on the very edge of the main channel. Cut perch on every rod except for one rod. We got a small channel catfish. The weather turned bad on us. Like as soon as we anchored, the tide's going opposite of the wind. You know, it was glass out here a little bit ago. Now it's it's turned nasty. It's raining, but we got a cover. We got the little uh, Navy Seal light going. Did I cast that or did you cast that, James? I did. James cast that, so it's probably about ten foot off the boat. That's that's our transom bait. How many, how many yards of line? Oh man, don't make a whole man. Real. Grown people talking about here, brother. Yeah, yeah. Scott said. Scott said. Scott said. What makes y'all think I've got stick up my ass and shrug your shoulders? Maybe it was when you told everybody to just shut the fuck up. <laughs> over, over a Amen to that. Uh, over a fucking gizzard. Don't, yeah. don't, hey, hey, hey. don't give him a comfort touch. Don't give him a comfort touch. Scott's all looking at the depth finder shit like we have a fucking $20,000 tournament. And everybody's saying this, that, and other. Scott said, well, how about everybody just shut the fuck up? I my know. Motherfucker cut the side over a gizzard. That's good, though. I like that. He was head. in yeah. serious yeah. mode. I like that. wasn't yeah. even there. Hey, Lonnie. Somebody's got to be serious. There's nothing like fishing somewhere that you're, you've you never fished before. I thought you've been here before. I have been here before, but I've, I buoy hopped. Oh. Yeah, and I was with someone that was nothing like you guys. He wasn't really a fisherman. You're an asshole like me. 
Oh, he was an asshole. He just wasn't a fisherman. I can tolerate an asshole if he's a fisherman. If you're just an asshole and you have nothing to offer, then sorry. Well, listen, I'm 55 years old and I ain't offer shit on this trip. I'm sitting right here in this chair and y'all can do it all. Yeah, I'm just yeah. gonna fish yeah, yeah. You, all, you always offer shit. You've been on that reel in the heart, baby. Hopefully, uh, when you see us again, uh, oh, it'll be oh, oh, oh. holding a absolute monster. monster. Yeah, it's still early. It hasn't even gotten dark yet. And I think if we haven't gotten a bite, by the time it gets dark, we're going to pull anchor, Put get them in. The in. Put me in the camera. Fucking monster. Mother put them pythons on them, boy. Show them pythons, James. Tell them what we got. Look what we're working with right here. Call Todd How y'all like us now? Us all on fish. Hell yeah. I'll put y'all on the fucking fish if I have to call Asher. Yeah. You know, the good thing about the nasty weather coming in on us is is great because uh, it's probably going to subside. And if it does subside, man, that change in pressure, as soon as it goes away, it's almost like the fish kind of hunker down during it. But like right afterward is when you catch a lot of these big post spawn fish. For some reason, they'll bite right after a storm. But anyways, I think our plan is once it gets dark to actually pull anchor, go try to catch some bait around a dock light or some kind of lighted bridge, some some kind of light. If we can get a hold of some absolute fresh bait, I'm some kickers, some swimmers, you know, if we can cut them while they're still kicking, that's going to be a recipe for success. It's going to be a game changer. It's I would be give $3 changer. for Bro. one squirt at WD-40 right now. With a piece in my hand and bloodshot eyes, I walk to the water for a last goodbye. He He's begs on us, us. It clouded my mind. Fish, One yeah. thing's clear, the man's yeah. gotta die. It's a good fish. Hey, Lordy, got him. This is the first fish that's got the skunk off the boat. We, didn't, we haven't been anchored very long. He's 25. 40. Literally just got dark. Well, maybe 30 if y'all want to put scales on. Yeah. I 48. I say he's close. He's 30. He's safe to say 30. Alright, we really let it go. He can't throw him over your shoulder. You know he's not at least 35. Don't look right holding it like this. We just pulled anchor. Moving to another spot. We were on the edge of the channel. Now what are we doing, Scott? We headed up river, down river? Going down river to a bend. Go down river to a bend at a creek mouth. That Jane River. <laughs> Don't know how to hold a catfish. That's great. I like it. Yeah. That is a big fish. It is. Woo! Good job, James. Good job, brother. Uh, Woo! Hey, uh, good man. That's a good one, man. Thank you. We're gonna try to get in a minute. All right, so we got here today. Went ahead and checked into our Airbnb. Got out on the water right before dark. Well, we got we got something to eat, then we got on the water right before dark. We stuck a 54 and one that was, I don't know, maybe 20s, maybe 30. It's about two o'clock in the morning. We're gonna go get some rest, and we're gonna come back out here tomorrow and uh come up with a little different game plan uh might get lucky and stumble on some bait somehow but we're still working on the ice bait that i caught on norman we're gonna eventually hopefully find some bait we ain't gonna find <laughs> what do you got to say about it james we ain't gonna find the bait we're done pack this <laughs> up let's go home <laughs> that is not the attitude i want I just don't think we're going to catch fish if we do that. If we do what? If we do what? Hadn't I always put you on fish? Huh? Hadn't I always put your mother on fish? I'll tell you what, I'll get Todd Asher on the phone and I'll put us all on goddamn fish. Video that, mother. Me, James Long, 
Gerald Cochran, Scott Perry, has been in the house. Let's see, where's Perry? We've been in the house. What we've been doing, Perry, for the last five hours? Watching YouTube videos. I'm watching YouTube videos. Bullshit. Bullshitting because it was so hot. Uh, Old this, people are kind. It's brutal. It's brutal. Yeah. The sun just went down about 30 minutes ago, so we're fixing to head out. See if we can get Scott a big fish. <laughs> Scott's turn. Oh, sure turn. And I don't know if y'all can see the only sign of life that we've seen up here, if you can see in the camera, there used to be some horses over there. And last time I looked, that both of them was laying down too. Ain't shit up here where we are. We couldn't find nobody to deliver no food. So we had to go buy our own food. And ain't nobody deliver nothing up here. We're like real country, but it's real quiet. So to give something, you got to give something. Here comes JR. JR's always running late. But here he is. Don't leave me! Don't leave me! I think they've left me. Come back! Hey. How y'all doing? Uh, how about you, buddy? Good. Y'all care? Y'all care if I go fishing with you? Can you pull the anchor? Yes. We might get make some room. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Got us something to eat. Got our bellies full. Now we're uh, we're actually gonna go buy some menhaden. Hopefully it's some sizable men hate. We gotta do something about this bait situation. All right, so we're looking uh, for bait. We stopped by the bait store. What's the name of this bait store? Uh, Fishtails. Fishtails. My, my friends bought some frozen uh, men hate. But anyways, run into Adam Cook in here. He told me where to go to catch some bait and uh, told me a little bit about the river. So that's gonna definitely help us, help increase our chances of uh, catching a big fish tonight. So thanks, Adam. Yes, sir. Hope Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah. See you. People all over the world have heard of the James River. It's not an unrealistic expectation to catch a trophy catfish here. Some bait, baby. Don't you fucking holler at me. Alright, Wes is hooked up, baby. Let's get it, Wes. Fish on, baby. Oh, that's a good fish, fellas. James, you want to get this rod in beside of him? Yeah. Yes, sir. Heck yeah. How's it feel, Wes? Feels good. Heck good yeah, fish. man. Heck yeah, good fish. Got that raw bent. Got that tomcat bent, baby. Hey, man, blue thing. This makes life a whole lot easier. Heck yeah. Right, oh, guys. yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Woo, he's right, jumping. There he is. That's a good fish. Mm-hmm. Come on. Oh yeah, pulling him in sideways, tail wrap. Good job, Wes. You fight better than the shark. <laughs> <Moving all up. laughs> it's not fishing. Then when you're ready. Hey, hold on. Coming to you. 
Oh, wait, he ain't ready, he ain't ready. Hold on, hold on. Come on, Tish. Ah! Uh, woo! Got him! Got him! Went back in. Yeah, that is a big one. <laughs> there you go, Will. This is stop. I'm gonna say 42. I'm gonna say 43. That's a long fish, man. I'm gonna say 40. <coughs> 47. 47.5. 47. I'm gonna say 45. Right at 40. About 40. Hey, Lottie. Hey, Lottie. James Long. I'm Get on, up! I'm on the ride again. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> we out. We're going down to four rods now. Conditions got pretty rough. The tide got increasingly stronger as we got closer to peak tide. And the wind and the tide getting stronger, it was, we had our rods all, our lines all messed up. So we decided to go from eight rods down to four. So we got all of them back in. We stowed our lightest rods. We kept our heaviest. We got two 10 ounce and two 12 ounce. We're going straight off the sides with the 12s. And straight off the corners of the transom with the tens. And uh, yeah, we're going to put fresh bait on them. And hopefully, the next time we come back, we'll have another giant. He literally pulled that rod sideways in the rod hole. Oh, yeah, he did. Get, this, uh, Jane, Jane, get up. Get, help him. <laughs> help him, James. Oh, there. Got him. He's in the net. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a toad, boy. Look at that toad. That's a blue catfish door. 28, 30 pounds. 35, 36, 35, 35, 72. 36. 36 pounds. Tear it out, bitches. Fish. <laughs> yeah, oh, baby. Yeah. You gotta go shoulder, bro. Yeah. It ain't big enough for the shoulder. It is big enough for the shoulder. It ain't big enough for the shoulder. Hey. Yeah, that's a little bit wider. Let's get your thoughts on that, Scott. Yeah, I mean, it's a good one, but uh, I pretty much dragged it to the boat pretty quick. If you noticed, you didn't even get your camera ready. Yeah. His, his jaw is probably out of socket. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll heal. A catfish will heal. I mean, you can do anything to a catfish. You can fillet his ass and throw him back. And he'll grow that side back. Nah, no, that was fun. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. Yes, sir. Well, thank me. I won, I think, 200 bucks <coughs> on a big fish this trip. Yep. Anglers all over the country come to the James River to catch monster catfish. And as we've proven, it's not that unrealistic of an expectation to do so. James has the biggest of the trip at 54. Woo! Uh, Wes caught a good, good fish, caught, caught a good fish. I had the smallest catfish of the trip, but what an epic trip. It's been fun. We learned so much on this trip. I've been to the James River a couple of times, but all I did was buoy hop, didn't really learn anything, caught a bunch of small fish. This trip, we came and we brought every single bit of knowledge we had about fishing. We we gathered knowledge from other people like Trey Thorpe. Uh, I met. Appreciate it, Trey. Thank you, Trey. I met um, Adam Cook. Adam Cook. I'm, we met him at what was the name of that bait shop? Fishtails. Fishtails. Thanks, oh, Adam. Like Baby, and I didn't buy nothing. Well, I bought, bought a chum bag. 
we had a little learning uh, curve out here with the current, the tide, the wind was going opposite of the tide, the tide would switch, you know, we got tangled. We only got tangled like once, so. It was bad. It was. <laughs> <laughs> we had to retie every rod, but, um, you know, we, we stayed at it and we hit pay dirt. A striper fisherman, a shark fisherman, a door installer, and a kayak fisherman can come <laughs> here and catch fish. You can too. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. See you next time on Real Fisherman. New school. New school fishing. Woo. <laughs>